It's official, Millie Bobby Brown's recent film Damsel is the most watched film of the year for Netflix and apparently it's mind blowing. So with that in mind, I gave it a watch and I have to say it actually made me laugh a couple of times, but I don't think that was its intention. The premise for this film is very straightforward. We have a princess called Elodie who's played by Millie Bobby Brown and in a first scene alone we see her chopping wood and so we know straight away that she's not like traditional princesses. She agrees to marry a handsome prince, but there's no time for a honeymoon as it all turns out to be a trap and she gets thrown into a cave with a fire breathing dragon. Now the first thing I have to address is her being thrown in with the dragon because it's not a small distance, but you wouldn't know that because she only gets up with like a minor forehead cut um, and her actually being thrown in was very funny. With her now down there with the dragon, this is where the film and the adventure is supposed to begin, but it is a lackluster adventure because there are so many conveniences. As she goes along, she finds these glow worms, which of course are very helpful in the dark, but also they can heal. Then there's like a map on the wall, which you're thinking, okay, there's a map maybe for a few rooms, but this map has the whole area covered even the exit. So someone must have escaped and thought, you know what, I'll come back and actually tell someone who's going to be obviously coming after me how to get out. But it's like, why would you do that? And the film has made the point clear that the damsels don't know what's about to happen to them. And so why would there be some sort of planning system in the chaos where they're trying to help the next person out? It's all a bit stupid. They're supposed to be obviously getting chased by a dragon, but they're more focused on the bigger picture here. A lot of this film consists of Millie Bobby Brown grunting, straining, screaming, the dragon's not very good when it comes to taking her out. I mean, the, it breathes fire right next to her many times. And you're thinking, just kill her. I mean, it's like, come on, what are you doing? This dragon has stormtrooper aim. Have we ever hit anybody with these guns? I hit a bird once. And you may be thinking, where's her family and all this? Well, her father does try to save her. He brings some men with him. And I mean, those guys get destroyed by the dragon. So the dragon obviously uh, picks and chooses when it wants to be a badass and when it doesn't. This film is also a strange one in terms of who it's actually aimed for because towards the middle there are a few horror elements which I think might be a bit too much for some kids um, but then you know it's a film which doesn't commit enough to make it a film for adults and so it's sort of in that middle ground where it's trying to appease everybody and it, at the end doesn't really target anyone in particular. And for a good number of fantasy films that can work but it does rely on the story actually being good and having that universal appeal and this one doesn't there isn't really a great story here at all and instead we have a film which just gets boring because you're thinking yeah this character Elodie she's becoming invincible to the dragon so I just know what's going to happen it's all predictable I'm just waiting until the end now in terms of other cast members here we have some big names like Ray Winston Angela Bassett and Robin Wright and I don't think I've seen Robin Wright in anything too recently. I think the last time I saw her was in that last season of House of Cards, which was complete crap. They're all here really for that big Netflix paycheck, to be honest. Um, the dialogue in this film is also another source of hilarity because there are some pretty awful lines. And how this film gets resolved was pretty unbelievable. I mean, that that is mind blowing. If you're bored about spoilers for this film, please do skip to the timestamp on screen. But I do have to mention this one big spoiler because I just can't not really. This dragon gets killed by fire. That's right. The dragon dies by breathing fire on this thing, which just sort of blows back onto itself. And I was like, what is this? Then the dragon at the end of the film. Oh, my God. The dragon at the end of the film then kills the queen who Robin Wright plays. And just how she dies was just so funny. I just have to play the clip. So yeah, I clearly didn't think too much of Damsel. Um, I think it's a film you can maybe stick on if you want somebody to leave your house. Um, but yeah, other than that, maybe watch Shrek instead. I think Shrek has much more uh, enjoyment where it involves a damsel and a dragon. So yeah, watch Shrek instead. That's my recommendation. So have you had a chance to watch Damsel? If you have, let me know your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you disagree with what I've said? Also, if you haven't seen it, do you plan to see it? as at the moment it is the number one film on Netflix. But for now, if you want to watch another video on a movie, we have a video on June part two on screen for you.